What's up, fam? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to you guys. Hope everybody's out there having a blessed and wonderful day. All right, I'm going to hit y'all off with another um, collective message today. Okay, um, I want you guys, before we get started, to always know that you hold the key to manifest what you want to manifest in your life. Always know that and never give up that power to anybody else, okay? Um, we got, looks like we got a mama's boy that's <laughs> that's coming through. I'm picking up on the energy of a mama's boy who is influenced by everybody around them. Family or friends, they're always looking at the opinions of other people. Let me go ahead and clear this energy out too. Start us off right. But yeah, I got that somebody out there is dealing with a mama's boy right here. Okay, this person is I'm hearing that they can't make decisions on their own or they let other people get into their head about your connection, okay? I feel like this person has let other people come into your connection and break you up and had them going down another path, okay? And I'm hearing this person has been making mistakes that they wish they didn't make by following other people instead of following their own mind and what they truly want instead of making decisions for themselves, okay? This person is always listening to the opinions of other people, right? It's like they, they always gotta, if, if y'all went through something in the past, they always gotta repeat what happened between you guys to other people and then let other people share their opinions on it and then like kinda like guide their uh, decisions that they are gonna make, you feel me? I feel like this person let other people, like family or friends, their opinions push them away from you and, and cause them to look somewhere else, okay? And this person was going through some karma. They went they went through some some sort of tough lessons, okay, with somebody out here in these streets or whatever, wherever else they went to. And they found out that the grass was not greener on the other side. So now this person is trying to strategize on coming back. Or getting back with you. You feel me? They're going through some sort of strategy to, to pass things up with you. Or to get back on good terms. We always in the collective. We Lately, I'm always getting people that's coming back from the past. Okay? There are different scenarios. But it's always somebody trying to rekindle. Somebody trying to relight the flame. Somebody trying to get that old thing back. It's always somebody coming from the past. Because my whole thing is... If you left, that must mean that there was something about the connection that you didn't like. So why are you coming back? You feel me? Like, why are you coming back? And look right here. We got babies involved. We had babies involved in the other video. Now we still got more babies involved. What is this? More babies involved. You feel me? Let me pull another. Um, I'm going to go over the rest of this overall energy here more babies involved in the scenario, right? This is the same type of energy from the last reading, popularity in the way. This is somebody who's popular, right? They got a lot of uh, bees buzzing around them, a lot of people talking to them, a lot of different opinions, right? They let everybody be in a business. They don't keep nothing private. I'm hearing with this person, everything is an open book. To those who are close to them, their family, and their friends. That's why people feel like they have to chime in or that they... I'm hearing these people are very, very... Were, when you were with this person, this, his family and friends were very intrusive on your, on your relationship. Because when y'all would go through something, this person will go back and tell them every single thing. So you had people hating on you. You had people hating on you. And you didn't even do nothing to them, Right? Or this person would spin the scenario and give their side of it, would make it, well, when they gave their, their, their point of view of what happened or their version of what happened, it was always in their favor, like they were a victim, right? Even if the events went a, a complete, oh, if I could say that right, see what I'm talking about? This is that tongue-tie tongue -tie energy. This person was not telling the truth, right? They were twisting the story, twisting things up, right? You might have gotten mad at this person because uh, they were letting their popularity get in the way. You know, they were letting other people into to your relationship and connection. 
right? Dating other people, hollering at other people, you feel me? In love with two people. So you were not the only person this person was dealing with, you know? They were dealing with other people, right? Other people involved in this. And look what we have right here. We says, I will be ending a commitment. I will be ending a commitment to be with you. So now this person done went out there, they done left you, done went out there, started something with somebody else, Done got somebody else pregnant. Done had a little baby or whatever. Right? But now, you know, and still in love with, with, with more than one person. Or dealing with more than one person. Okay? I got you in their mind when they with somebody else. But now they want to come back to you. You know? Because they felt like, well, hey, maybe I shouldn't have listened to, you know, my family or my friends. And maybe I should have been the one the sole person that was making the decisions in my life, right? I feel like this person did learn some lessons out there. They learned to stop letting everybody tell them what to do. And then they say, our relationship may be broken beyond repair. What else we got here? Let me pull some more energy here. We got, I want to take things slow. Our feelings are not mutual. That's interesting. And I see a future with you. Wow. So this person may feel like y'all you don't want the same thing as them, right? Y'all might be like, hell no, I'm not getting back into that chaotic, to that to the Adams family. You feel me? I'm not getting back to uh, around you guys, you and your friends and your family, right? Y'all might be happy you guys got away from this person and their weirdo family and stuff like that, you know? With chaos and confusion, hell, you might have been arguing with their brothers and sisters and stuff like that, cousins, uncles friends about your business about you and this person's business but then interjecting putting themselves in the middle of your business and now now you not only arguing with your person that you're with you arguing with their family their entourage that's their entourage you arguing with all of them you know that's too much chaos too much confusion i feel like this person they just brought you grief you feel me they brought you stress sadness they ain't bring you nothing really to, to write home about, okay? And the energy this person's coming with, they're, they're dishonest, right? You can't trust this person. You can't trust them to really tell you the truth because they got so many people that has their back that's going to that's going ride, be ride or dies for them. So whatever they do out here in these streets, these people are always going to take their back, whether they're right or they're wrong. You feel me? Hmm. And this neighbor, okay, we got neighbor here. So this could be somebody, this person might live near you, next to you still, okay? Hell, some of y'all, I hope y'all not roommates with this person, but yeah, this person could still live close to you. They could have been involved messing with a neighbor, okay? Could have got, and um, could be in love with somebody who is your neighbor, okay? This person not dealing with a full deck. They're not, they're not really, this person got a lot of growing to do, and I feel like they got to work sense of reality when it comes to how they should treat people and how connections and relationships should go on okay let's see what else we got i'm not gonna take all these yeah i'm getting a whole warped sense of reality because i feel like this person is used to having this person's giving me a spoiled type of vibe like their mama and their daddy gave them whatever they want you feel me their mom was overprotective of them and, and baby them they're used to getting everything that they want, so they have this warped sense of reality, like they're entitled to get whatever it is that they want. Promiscuity. Yeah, this person is just sleeping around. They're not like, this person is not like, um, this person is not whoever else they were with. They weren't monogamous, you feel me? This person was still doing whatever the hell they want to do. Look, weird vibes. Did not say about weirdos, their family is weirdos. I guess, hell. If the family weirdos, then this person might be a whole weirdo too. You feel me? A swinger. A swing. Y'all see this? A swinger. This person likes to sleep around. They like group sex. They may like switching, you know, partners with people and stuff like that too. You feel me? They may have gotten with somebody who was down with that as well. All right? This person has envy in their heart right now because they may feel like you, you've gotten away from them. Okay? And they're going to want to come towards you on the friendly tip, on the friendly vibes, you know, trying to 
you know, inch their way back in. I'm telling you, this person is trying to make a plan, trying to come up with a strategy to get back in. What's up with these people trying to get back in from the past? That seems like to be that seems like a, a constant theme, right? This person definitely wants to move this forward with progress. They want to move it forward with you, right? It says they love everything about you. This person is gullible. And this person is smart. Hmm. So we get this person is gullible by listening to everybody. And then when it comes to them plotting and scheming on you, they may be a little smart. Or y'all might yeah, let y'all tell y'all might be like, hell nah, they dumb as hell, you know? But yeah, let's see what love messages we got over here. We got, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. See, you went through and see, this is, this was a lesson for you guys. Dealing with this person was a lesson for you. And spirit is like, yo, okay, if you've learned your lesson, you're going to move on to the next level, right? You're moving on to the next, next phase. Some of y'all have already moved on, you know? But this is like this person is coming back like as a test. Like spirit is like, yo, I'm gonna give you this last test. I'm gonna see if you're really ready and see if you really learned your lesson. Because if you haven't learned your lesson, you're gonna repeat this whole cycle all over again. And you already know how it went. And you already know what you're gonna receive. You already know what it's gonna be. You feel me? But if you learned your lesson, you move on to something else. A blessing. A blessing that's gonna be revealed to you guys. You know? Yeah, we got this person galloping in the whole night of wands. Passionate, you know. Leading with sexual energy. Being very uh, driven by that. That flame has been ignited and they're like, yeah, let me come on in, you know. I can come on in now. They're going to come back like they're loyal to you, okay. And also... Like they're open to starting this over again with you, which they does show that they are open to starting it back up with you. Let's see what else we got. What else we got going on here? What else we got going on here? Lusting. Yeah, that Knight of Wands energy. They lusting over you, right? They're leading by lust. I'm hearing, where is the love? Where's the love, yo? Where's the love? This person gonna have this person had you bending over backwards for them, you know? Trying to keep their attention while they were out doing whatever or being pulled this way and that way, right? This person is still coming in with choices. That's not cool, right? Because we got two cards that correlate. In love with two people. And who do I choose, right? They're still coming in. This person is not coming in single. They're still attached to somebody else, right? They're still attached to somebody else. We got Paymaster. So this person could come in and flaunt you some cash. You feel me? They could they could be strategizing and saying, hey, I'm going to get them back with, you know, buying them gifts or whining and dining this person, you know, throwing them some money, paying some bills. You feel me? Doing something. That's going to have you like, wow, you know, because some people, when people, you know, splurge on them and they buy them things and and they take care of them in that way, they view that as like that person really truly cares about them. But a the person, this person right here is only using what they got to get what they want. You feel me? Ignoring text calls. <laughs> Yo, this person, if this person did this to you in the past, they're still on that same BS, right? They would be with you and ignoring the other person's texts and calls. Be with them and then ignoring yours. You feel me? They still on the same on that same thing, right? I feel like if you're dealing with this person now too, that they're doing this to you now, all right? You could have been on hiatus and this person went and started something with somebody else. And now they in now they torn between the two. Like, what is that girl named? Latoya Lucky. They torn between the two, you feel me? They don't know what they want to choose. Yo. But I feel like you guys call this person out on their BS, right? Y'all call them out on their BS. Like, y'all didn't let this person uh, get away with whatever they was doing. 
right? I'm hearing some of y'all, this person would just go ghost and then uh, they wouldn't answer their phone overnight. You know who it was. It was with the other person, you feel me? They didn't answer their phone. And then in the morning, oh my God, what's up? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed your call. I missed your text messages. I couldn't get them because my phone was dead. I forgot to plug it up to the charger. Or I was drunk and I went to sleep. A thousand and one excuses for the for the foolishness, you feel me? A thousand and one excuses. But this person is going to pull out all the stops for you guys. They're going to try to woo you. What is up with this wooing energy? Because this was the same similar type of energy in the last reading that I did. The same type of energy. But different, like, uh, a, a little different twist, right? It's like everybody's on that fuck shit, you know? And the spirit is saying, this is not love, right? Whatever this person is doing, it's not love. Because love wouldn't treat you like that. Love should have brought you home last night. You feel me? That song just popped into my mind. Love should have brought you home last night. The way that this person moves and what they do is not love. You feel me? If you love somebody, you don't treat them. You don't treat people how this person has treated you in the past, right? This person might be out here paying, paying for sex from people too. You know, hey, we got the paymaster out here too. Right? This person may might get people by flashing that money, that cash. They can get what they want. You feel me? And they pay for it as well. Wow. What else we got here? Feels good, but so cold. Yeah, you guys already know that like with this person, it felt good being with them or like being intimate with them. But at the same time, there was no love. You feel me? There was no love involved in this scenario. It was just passion, you know? It was just sex with no feelings because you, you may have still felt unfulfilled with this person. That says a lot. Y'all like when, you guys liked when this person called you, you know what I'm saying? You like to receive messages and that attention from them, but a lot of times, you know, and I feel like you liked getting them because they were far and few in between because this person was busy ignoring text messages and calls. We got unrequited feelings, right? One of you guys felt more for the other one than the other one felt for the other one. You feel me? We had that twice. Let me see. I had that on over here too. Our feelings are not mutual. Hell yeah, we had that already. What else we got here? Religion over everything. I feel like you guys are focusing on your spiritual, your spirituality, your religion, you know, and you're, 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 you're allowing that to get you through, right? To get you back on track. You, you guys are focusing on your spiritual connection and that spiritual guidance that you're receiving so that you don't, you don't have to repeat the same bullshit over with different people or with, even with the same person. I feel like you guys felt, feel like this. This connection already went up in smoke. Like, what is there? What, what is there left? Okay. Like, what is there left? I feel like y'all feel like it went up in smoke. So, ain't shit there to, to rebuild on. You know, like, what are you gonna rebuild? What are, what you going what you gonna rebuild on? Like, what is there to even bother with at this point? Yeah, because this person, I feel like y'all see, y'all already know what this person's deal is. Y'all, y'all know because everything that they do has already been, already been brought to the light. I feel like none of this that you're hearing, if this resonates with y'all, none of this that you're hearing is, is news to you or is a surprise or a shock. You already know this person. You already know what they're capable of and what their whole deal is, right? You guys may be having a conversation together. Well, when this person comes in, you may be having to sit down with this person and tell them like, hey, you know, um, this is what it's going to be. This is what it's not going to be, you know? So everybody knows what page they're on and everybody, you know, nobody's sitting there hoping and wishing and praying for something that's not going to happen, you know? Looking out, because Spirit said you're looking out for you. You know what you deserve, right? And you know you don't deserve somebody who doesn't love you or doesn't even show that they love you by their actions or just keeps you around like you're an option, right? Being pulled this way and that way. 
y'all standing up for yourselves. And I feel like you guys are, wow, okay. You guys are knowing that you have options just like this person has options. Because this person is out here exploring their options, you feel me? But Spirit wants you to know that you got options too. You ain't got to go back to nobody like this, you feel me? Because this is just a superficial connection, right? I keep telling y'all, there's no love involved in this, right? Oh, yeah, this person said, oh, I'm in love with two people, da 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 whatever. Yeah, you are, you know? Or they come off like they're loyal, but this just, these are just, just you guys are just like this person's option is what I'm getting, right? You're just another option to this person. You don't want to be with somebody who views you as an option because you're never nobody's option unless you allow it to be that way, right? But you know that you deserve better than this person. You know it already, right? This person has already put you through a lot of a lot of hell I'm hearing for some of you guys. They put you through hell. You done been through hell and back again with this person over the foolishness. And you know this person, this is a superficial connection. They just, it's just superficial. There's no substance to this connection. I'm getting it was just based off of sex, off of passion. No love even involved in here. A secret affair. Someone may be involved in one now. Or maybe this person was involved in one when you were dealing with them. Okay? We got a soulmate. You feel a strong connection with this person. I feel like for some of you guys, if you're still, if you're, if you... When you were with this person, you found it hard for, for you to um, break away from them. When you when you find out that it was full of full of shit, you feel me? You found it hard for you to break away from them. This person is giving me karmic soulmate vibes. This person did nothing but bring you misery, right? They brought you pain, had you crying, had you disappointed, you know. And y'all see. The beauty in this, yeah, this is over with. We had an end of a long-term connection. Some of y'all was with this person for a long time. This is a divorce. Some of y'all may have divorced this person, or you may be getting a divorce, or you may have just ended a long-term connection with this person. But like this, Spirit is telling you it's, it's light at the end of the tunnel, right? Because through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed, right? You got to make sure that when your blessing coming through, you don't let this person stay in your life and mess up your blessings, you know? Mess up what's coming through for you. What else we got here? Just throwing them on the floor. Yep, this person wants to come back. Look, I'm bottom of the deck. Reconciliation. I knew it. They planning to come back. Yep. But Spirit's like, no, cut their ass off and you keep it moving. You know? Cut out what no longer fits, right? This is your... Your life is your own movie that you... You... Write the script, right? You hire the actors. You fire the actors. If they, if they, if they ain't getting that line, them lines right, if they're not doing what they're supposed to do, you fire them, you know? You fire who you want to fire. So it's like, no, cut this mofo out and keep it moving, right? Because once you cut this person out, once you cut them off and be done with it, that's when your success and love is going to come in. Your dreams are going to come true. You're going to find that person who truly is a healthy soulmate for you and not a karmic, right? Not triggering you and bringing you chaos and confusion in your life, you know? This person has you walking on eggshells, you know? You couldn't really be yourself around this person because this person was very, very defensive. This person was defensive because they didn't want you to ask so many questions because you was they feared you was going to find out what they didn't want you to find out, right? Why be with somebody, you know, why be with somebody who's going to keep secrets from you, right? Yeah, you guys were at odds. Like, you were not on the same page. You may have been arguing a lot, you know? Like, you already know what you're going to get with this person. So there's really no need to even, you know, reopen that door or even go down that lane again. Because it's like, Spread is like, no, you got success coming for you, right? Once you cut that out, once you cut this person out, Cut the foolishness out. Success is coming in for you in love. You're going to meet that person, right? I feel like that person is waiting to come into your life as soon as you get rid of this dead weight, right? New focus on the new. Look, beginnings. Focus on the new beginnings for yourself. That's where it's at for you, you know? Not, not shit from the past. 
that ain't your success is not doesn't lie with with somebody from the past it's somebody brand spanking new who's going to be like a blessing in your life right Spirit says you got to have faith, you know? You got to keep the faith. And you got to know that what you're worth and what you deserve, right? And you got to create what you want to create in your life, right? Cut things out that no longer serve your highest good. What else we got here? We might need to get some of this stuff up. It's like, yo, this is, you got it. You got it. You know what I'm saying? You just have to let people go who don't deserve a spot in your life, you know? Yeah, interference, right? There's always going to be some interference within this connection with, between you and this person because that's just how it's set up. And it's set up like that because that person is not the one for you, right? The one for you is waiting to come in after you cut this mofo off completely and stop talking to them, dealing with them, whatever the hell is going on. Right? This person may be energetically still connected to you. Y'all might still be talking on the phone. Y'all might still be sleeping together. Whatever the hell is going on. Spirit is waiting for you to cut that person off so they can send the right person in for you. Right? That you need to take these, whatever situations in, um, that you've been through with this person, transmute them and create something that's that's going to be success. Trans transmute all this dark energy that you experience with this person. All this chaos, confusion, drama. Transform it, transmute it into success for yourself. Right? It's time for you guys to see the light is what Spirit is saying, right? Some of y'all are already seeing the light, having a revelation. You're like, I get it now. I understand what I got to do, you know? I got to have that faith. I got to walk out on faith and know that this is not the only mofo in the world that I could be with, you know? Especially not if they're not bringing you... You know what I'm saying? If they're not bringing you stability in your life, you know, they bring you chaos and confusion. Look what we got here. Spirit is like, yo, it's time for you to move forward. Action. It's time for you to do action. Time for you to stop sitting on the fence. Stop thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Stop holding out, waiting, wasting your time. It's time for you to move forward away from people like this, right? Move forward into that union that's going to be successful for you, right? It's all here. That union that you want with another person, that connection, that relationship, is, it's here, you know? But you got to let something go from the past in order for you to get this, right? That romance, right? This this is a soulmate connection. We got a soulmate again. Soul. This is a soulmate, a romantic soulmate union with another person once you let this mofo go, whoever the hell this is, right? Right? And I feel like you both, you and this new person is good karma for each other, right? Your person is going through some karma too. I will be going through karma, right? You play your cards right, you're going to be getting that good karma back as well. Because that's what you deserve, right? But this was a karmic cycle. Spirit is like, yo, close this karmic cycle out. Learn your lesson. You feel me? Learn your lesson. Close it, this karmic cycle out. And look elsewhere. Because over here, that's not it. You feel me? This person ain't bringing you nothing but poverty. You feel me? This is lack. You can't build nothing on this type of energy right here. Nothing. Nothing but chaos and confusion. You feel me? Chaos and confusion. And that's it. What advice? What other advice we got for you? Do you feel you deserve the best? Wow. This is profound. Do you feel you deserve the best? Because if you do, you're going to do what you have to do, right? When you, it's a complete game changer when you know, when you feel deep down inside and you know without a shadow of a doubt that you deserve nothing but the best. And once you get into that energy, you don't accept nothing less from nobody. You feel me? Nobody. Who are you? Get back to you. Focus. Spirit is saying you need to be the main priority right now, especially not this mofo over here. You got some healing to do. You got some, just some cutting off to do. You feel me? 
get back to you. Get back to what makes you happy. You know, what excites you, what goals and what hobbies you have for yourself in your life, right? Get back to that. Get back to the basics is what I'm hearing. Without this person, clean house, let this, let the past go, and then focus on yourself, right? And then build from there. It says you are on the right path, right? So if you are headed towards the door, some of y'all are already out the door, I feel. Some of y'all are already out the door, right? You're on the right path. If you're moving towards this success, cutting people off who don't serve your highest good, who keep you in, in, a, in a state of chaos and confusion, you're already, you know, on the right path for yourself, okay? And on the back of the card, back of the deck, it says, don't let anyone tell you what to do with your life, okay? And also, you've learned your lessons. Yeah, you can move on from this, right? This karmic, this karmic lesson is learned, right? You've learned all that you need to. There's no other lessons left here for you with this person unless you want to repeat lessons over again, you know? Unless you want to repeat it all over again. I'm, and I doubt you want to, want to go through all that, right? Spirit says discover your hidden talents because you have a lot to offer. You have a lot of talents that maybe this person, there's a lot about you, right? That this person didn't value, that this person didn't see. That you have to see within yourself first. And then that person, your, your soulmate, your romantic soulmate, the healthy one that's coming in, is going to see that too within you. But you just got to believe in yourself and you have to love yourself first. And you have to believe that you deserve the best, okay? So that's what I got for you guys for this uh, reading. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if this resonated with you guys, comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. And thank you guys for being here. Much love and light to y'all. Y'all take care, okay? Ciao.